Hey guys, Serge again from Cal.com. Uh, I hope you enjoyed our last recipe. I brought you Chicken of the Dragon. I hope you tried it. I hope you posted your pictures. I hope you subscribed to Cal.com. Today, we're going to be making another very delicious recipe called Creamed Spinach. All right, this is all we need to make the creamed spinach. We have a bowl of spinach, a cup of milk, extra virgin olive oil, some whipping cream, butter, grated Parmesan cheese, garlic, and an onion. I usually use a white onion, but if you don't have a white onion available, you can just chop up your yellow onion and soak it in water to decrease its harshness. Um, and uh, let's get to it. All right. So first things first, first step is to take a teaspoon or two of butter and let that heat up along with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. We're using extra virgin olive oil. Uh, you can use regular olive oil. You don't need any of the cold pressed stuff because then it's just gonna taste like olives. So we're gonna add a couple of tablespoons of that. Okay, now we're going to let the butter melt a little bit. Spread that out nice and even around the bottom of the saucepan. Okay, now we are going to add first the garlic. Okay, get that around. Uh, getting to smell great. You can already smell it. Let's add a little bit of salt to this before we add anything else, like the onions. Just a little bit, not a lot. All right. Give that just a couple of seconds, maybe 20 or 30 seconds. Just get that nice and even. Get that everywhere. Before we add the onions. Now we have our chopped onion here. We're going to throw that in and we're going to saute this just long enough for it to be soft, just until it's no longer crispy. All right, once that, once that crunchiness is gone from the onions, uh, you want to Mix it around a little, get the garlic and the salt in there. All right, now we're gonna give that probably four to seven minutes just to get to the texture required for our creamed spinach. All right, we're gonna leave that there for just a couple of minutes before we add the spinach. Now this spinach has been washed, drained, and dried, and we're going to add it to the onions uh, very slowly in small batches. Uh, you could even you could even break some of it up if you want. You know, makes it a little easier to cook it. Um, some people break it up, some people don't. You know, if it's baby spinach, you don't necessarily have to. Um, you don't have to use all the spinach either. Uh, however much spinach you use, it will uh, it will evaporate and become smaller. So, so we're going to mix this to get the onions into the spinach, the onions and garlic get the flavor into it, and 
let that absorb for a few minutes before we add the heavy cream. Spinach in there. this stage depending on how salty your onions were uh, I'm going to add just a little bit more and we continue to toss it until everything is evenly coated with the onions and the salt and then we're going to cover it for a couple of minutes and let it cook This is the spinach after we have uh, cooked it in our pan for about seven minutes. Now we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of whipping cream. Okay, and after the whipping cream, we add the milk, uh, almost a cup of milk, about a half a cup of milk. While it's still on the heat, we give it a mix. All right, we'll come back to it in a couple of minutes and we'll show you how it turned out. And here's your finished product. Uh, about 13 minutes after you've added the milk with occasional stirring, you cover the pot and this is what your creamed spinach should look like when it's done. So we're going to put it in a bowl and let you take a look in just a moment. All right guys, here it is. Our finished dish of creamed spinach. It smells fantastic. And let me just give it a little taste so. Some of your recipes into videos and uh, bon appetit!